yeah hi hello friends today we are working on how to create vm through unmanage disk or vhd file so now we are deleting this vm vs vm3 which is running state i have already taken rdp of this server and keep some file on it so after creating vm then we have to validate so we have to shut down first and and before delete we have to take some backup of virtual machine like uh, what's the host name where which location it located and what are the storage group which os it is under and what are the size which the disk location which storage account they have what are the disk number and uh, what are the in network which nick they have connected so most important things here the which this is a uh, which storage account this disk resides so we have one tool azure explorer explorer So this disk on the west US disk. And the disk ID is five seven one four. So this is the disk. So we have to create it from this disk file. So now VM is successfully stopped. So now we proceed to delete the VM. now it is deleted so after deletion we have to delete the vnic card of that vm so nic card is based vm3104 so this is a nic card which I have connected uh, deleted VM so now we have to delete this NIC card so now the NIC card is deleted so we have to validate uh, this this is unlocked uh, means this uh, this is available and, and active state so we have to create a vm from this vhd file so for now we have to create a one dummy server so that we have attached those old disks to this dummy virtual machines make sure you have to choose a correct os which uh, was previously attached the uh, old disk 
and the size would be the same allow the rdp then choose the same storage account which uh, previous the host where this resides on that storage account so this is the waste so your disk then review and create Now you have to check here the uh, new uh, VM is uh, the creating state. So we have to stop now. No need to create a full VM. We have just created the uh, old disk. So we just stop the disk. Stop the VM. So we have to cancel this deployment. Once we stop, we have to attach the old disk on this a new disk. Now you check the <coughs> VM is now stop state. So we have to go to the disk detail. We have to take a disk detail. What are the disk ID? So the disk ID is 721. So go to the store explorer. You have to refresh it first. So this is the new disk and we have to overlap this new to old. So first we have break the list so that we can delete this disk and uh, or rename the old disk. Now 
now it broke the lease and now we have to delete this and this is my old VM disk so we have to rename with a new one Now we have to rename the old disk with new 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 disk ID. Now we have to power out now view. Now we have already started restart, so we have to check. We have to take our DP and check whether it those file are there or not. Yes, updating state. We have to wait for some time. Now you have to check the VM is in running state. Now we have we have to take the RTB and validate those file is there or not. Now we are able to take a successfully RTB. Now you can see the those old file are also there. So we have successfully mounted, uh, we have created a VM through old disk or unmanaged disk. So this is the way how to create a VM through unmanaged disk. So thank you guys.